Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and a lot of people have been asking what are our opinions on Titans, and well, it's about time we gave it, so um, we're going to hit upon a few things, um, one episode spoilers. in particular, spoilers, spoilers, yes, spoilers, we're entering the spoiler room brawl, <laughs> definitely spoilers, um, We're at the end we're going to give our pros and cons um, to watching Titans, so um, first thing first, we, let's hit upon that trailer. That came out yeah, originally. Um, so, okay, so DC, whoever the fuck cuts together your trailers needs to be fired. Like, you need to pretty much go through and do a whole cleaning shop of that department. Because that trailer was fucking awful. And it's even worse compared to now that we've actually watched the actual show. Yes, because we were very pleasantly surprised at the show because what we saw in the trailer was not how the show was. First, talk about the main thing we we that you and John uh, Nick picked about the trailer, and that's Raven. And honest well, to I'd nit, I'd, we nitpicked fucking Starfire, but okay, sure. we'll, we'll, we'll go with Raven. <laughs> um, Raven in the show is my favorite character. I mean, I figured Raven was gonna be my favorite character going in, but there's reasons why. She's the favorite character. The use of her powers is not only clever, but it shows it's different sides of raving, and it's very interesting, uh, like Cody was saying. Starting to a point to where they're, they're getting creative with her powers. She's not to the full, calm, level-headed person that she is, you know, for the most part, is in the comics. I mean, she's still wildly inconsiderate and out of control with her powers yes but when she does ream them in they get somewhat creative with it yes like it has one of my favorite scenes her powers have one of my favorite scenes in the entire show i take it back that's that's something that you wouldn't expect with raven powers but right away if you if you start thinking about it every now and then yeah she would be able to do something like that so if you haven't watched the show, um, the scene we're talking about is a scene where Raven heals this man, old, older gentleman, who slit his throat open. She heals him to prevent him from dying. Well, later on, he is the one who has tortured the other Titans. She finds out, so she says, I take it back, and she reopens, unheals him, and his neck just starts bleeding and he dies. Great. It's fantastic. Um, well, let's hit upon that other issue you had, Starfire. Biggest surprise of the I show. Have, yeah, I'm going to be honest. Starfire is my favorite character in the show. She's, she's very different. I have a theory that it's not Starfire. It might be Blackfire. Yeah. Because her characteristic leans more towards Blackfire than actual Starfire. Mm -hmm. Okay, now she can grow into Starfire. But I think, like, at the current moment, I think she's more Blackfire than actual Starfire. Yeah, the per personality and all, it definitely seems to be more Blackfire than Starfire. Uh, I will tell you a problem I do have is I have had a bit of a problem with it in the trailer. And now that I've watched the show, I still it kind of becomes more of a problem for me. I don't fucking like how they're handling Dick Grayson. I mean, like... <laughs> With both the live-action Titan show and the Young Justice Outsider season, they apparently... Someone at DC has this vendetta that, you know, Dick fucking hates Batman. Or just and Dick like, Grayson as a dick? Dick doesn't want to be Batman. That's why he left being, you know, Robin and why he went off to be, you know, Nightwing. Um, it's not Dick fucking Grayson. You're, you're right. It's not Dick Grayson. It's... Dick in the comics, though he may have problems with Bruce, though he may have differences with Bruce, he still sees Bruce as a father. Okay? Yes. Both Titans and Young Justice have it in their mindset that no, Dick fucking hates Bruce. And no, he doesn't. Yes, he has problems with him, but he doesn't downright fucking hate him. Okay? Nor does he downright hate the fact that he doesn't want to work with a team, but I have a problem with that because if he's still working with Oracle and getting information from her, then guess what? You're still technically working with the team, but that's a rant for a, another That's Young video. Justice. That's Yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's Young Justice. That's um, a rant for another video. But that's my biggest problem is that 
through all the stuff that they are somewhat they're and it's fascinating to see how they're handling a different situation i'm not liking how they're handling robin okay yeah i think it's bad like yes dick has problems with bruce dick doesn't want to be batman okay he wants to be a version of batman but he doesn't downright or a differentized version than what batman represents but he still likes bruce he still respects bruce he still sees bruce as a father yeah and i think one of the pluses i really got to the point where with titans where um i was just looking forward to each week's episode and i was especially after the doom patrol episode yes uh the doom patrol episode was fucking amazing amazing just the soundtrack on side note the soundtrack for titans is one of the best soundtracks of a it's show. It's one of the best soundtrack of licensed music I've seen in a while. It is really well done. It, it seems like they're handpicked for the scenes, and it just works so well. Um, even it when does. you think it wouldn't work, when like Kids of America started playing when Robin is kicking ass, it still works. It <laughs> Fucking Thunderstruck while Negative Man is cooking uh, breakfast is one of the greatest scenes ever. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> That do- whole Doom Patrol episode has me very excited for the Doom Patrol show. Um, it really does. And especially now that you know they're adding Cyborg and one other character. I don't know who it don't is. know who exactly it is, but... It's, it's the girl. Yeah. But it has me very excited. Especially um, for a show that I was not excited about at all. No, 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 no. But that one episode won me over. Yes. Um, so those are are two big issues now let's just go with pros and cons yes um cons being that uh, there's a few episodes that are not needed as much as i love the hawk and dove stuff and i love it a lot okay i fucking love hank hank is amazing okay in the end it's not really needed no okay um i get the connection to the story and i get where it may come further on down the line but right Right now, it's just not needed. It's not needed. We didn't, especially we didn't need a backstory. Fucking eight, nine episodes in. Um, another con that I have is the finale. Um, I know they wanted this big spectacle, of Robin versus Batman, but the thing is, one, it was a dream sequence, um, that happened, and two, it just didn't make sense, and it just was, it was not good, um, in. It's just the season did so well to that point that it just seems like it jumped off a cliff on the last episode because it doesn't even yeah. seem like a finale. It seems like a mid-season finale, if that, where we're about to come back to something in a month, but we know it's not going to be the case like that with Titans because we have to wait for season two. I still want this show to be fun, okay? I'm still in this mindset of i'm tired of seeing the dark and edgy 13 year old preteen dc okay yeah like i i get it you're trying to tell a more mature and adult titan story but you know what makes the titan so good is their down-to-earthness and fun goofy side very much okay what makes Titans is the team around the story, not this dark, edgy kind of, you know, 13-year-old angst. Like, yes, it is great that we're I'm seeing a dark and mature story. I have definitely eaten my I've definitely eaten crow and I'm liking the show. But I mean, part of the reason why the Doom Patrol episode to me is so good is because yes, it does tell that mature and, you know, adult storytelling, but it has fun. It remembers what makes these characters so great. Is yes, they're, you know, tragic Shakespearean, but they're also can be goofy and silly. Yeah, very much. I mean, their okay. number one thing to eat is pizza. I like this show, okay, and I like I'm gradually growing on these versions of the characters, and I'm okay with you telling a more mature and adult storyline, especially with the introduction of your you're possibly going to bring in Trigon at one point. The well, they brought in uh, Trigon. Well, they brought in tri- wow. Okay, sure. They brought in Trigon. Um, I still don't see him as Trigon, but well, that's that's another con. You know, yeah, it's another con. 
Um, you've hinted at you possibly bringing in Superboy and Crypto. Cool. We I hit... see more Donna Troy. That I love. Okay. That's okay, a pro. That That's a big pro on the pro list is Donna Troy. Right. The one, like the I'm... few screen time she had, it was fantastic. It, like you could believe them. The acting was great, hands yeah. down. A lot of the Robin fights are just pretty sweet in general. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It gives some of it gives some of early Arrow seasoned fights a run mm-hmm. for its money. It really does. It really does. Like like letter grade, what would you give it? Because we we haven't we didn't do that for Elseworld. Yeah, and that's I, kind of what we do. I would give this a B plus. I would give B+. Titans a B plus. I'd give it a solid B minus. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of Titans, and what should we watch next and uh, give our opinion on. Um, we'd love to be able to answer you guys' uh, questions of what. Um, what shows to talk about and like always i will see you in the next one later geek out